السلام علیکم دس از ڈاکٹر بلال واجد ویلکم ٹو انادر سیشن آف ڈیٹا اسٹرکچرز اینڈ الگورتھمس یوزنگ سی پلس پلس ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر وی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ بیسک ڈیٹا ٹائپس لائک انٹیجر فلوٹ ڈبل اینڈ دین وی ٹاکٹ اباؤٹ دس انٹرسٹنگ فنکشن کالڈ سائز آف دیٹ ہیلپس یو میجر دی اماؤنٹ آف اسپیس ایچ آف دوز ڈیٹا ٹائپس وز consuming within the memory today we're going to ta- talk about a user defined data structure called structure <coughs> now the word structure within c and c++ allows the user to define their own data types <coughs> in this particular example the structure has been named element and this element can have as many different components as you want to put in here so here the word element now becomes your own data type structure it has a name of the type string it has a value of the type integer <coughs> and now you can use this element the same way you use any other data type so a has been declared element and components within a can be accessed using this dot operator so i've mentioned that here <coughs> excuse me so a dot name has been assigned bilal wajid and a dot value has been assigned 90 now consider for example this particular program now here we've declared and defined what our structure element is prior to the main function because the main function is where about i am calling this out so you want any definitions of this to be present prior to the actual main function so here i have defined element a and a dot name has been assigned bilal wajid and a dot value has been assigned 90 and then i'm just printing this out just to see if my different components of the structure of the element a have been assigned properly now i would strongly recommend you go to the cpp.shell and try running this code now if i do this and it's shown over here <coughs> where i am running this particular function I see it does show where the name bila a name has been assigned as Bilal Wajid where I can see that is the case and when a dot value has to be shown I see that it has been assigned the value 90 because that's exactly what I did here now something that I did I not that I did not show in the slides but I'm showing here is the use of this size of right so if you notice here the element structure has an string and has an integer it's worthwhile mentioning because you're using a string you have to include the string uh library <coughs> so that statement has to be present over there so here i'm saying let me find out the size of the string so i've written size of string and let me find out the size of the integer and see because the element contains both a string and an integer let me see if the size of the element is the sum of the size of the string and the integer and lastly i'm checking out the size of the element <coughs> what i see here is the size of the string is 8 bytes the size of the integer is 4 bytes but the size of the element is 16 it is not 12 it is 16 now think of it this way <coughs> that if you have a room the room can have a table a chair and a bed but the size so the there is a size that the table needs and a space that the chair needs and a space that the bed needs but the room is usually larger as an analogy the room is larger than the size of the bed the size of the chair and the size of the table combined So here we see again that the size of the element or the structure is in fact a little larger than the size the cumulative size of all the individual element or components present within the element Now going back 
to our lecture slide here is another example in this example I am making a function called change value where I am calling out the argument element so element is the return type and the element is also the argument of this function right so because this is now your own user defined data type you can use it in every way you use any other data type and that makes it very powerful so here there's an element b which is passed on to this function and i i'm not changing the name i'm only changing the associated marks for it now this is the complete function itself this these three dots over here actually represent um, the structure definition and the function change value because we are using the element here and we are calling out this function so they are su they both are supposed to be defined prior to the start of the main function um, here you have to include the string library I haven't included it here but I'll show that I have done that in the cpp.shell when I'm running it over there so <coughs> here the name was initially Bilal Wajid and the marks that were assigned were 90 and after you can yet actually calling out this function you can change the marks to a new set of marks and see if it did in fact change in the output now we're going to go back to the CPP shell and see how it was behaving. Here I'm referring to the second. <coughs> see, I've included the string file here. This is the structure definition. This is the uh, definition of the function. In structures, always remember to put this semicolon because if you don't put it, it'll give you an error. Okay, so this is something students and even myself sometimes I forget. <coughs> and then the compiler is very kind to remind me to put the semicolon back in here so this is our main function here initially Bilal Wajid was given marks 90 let's say for this course of data structures and though normally this happens is you know let's run this program so initially Bilal Wajid was assigned 90 and then the student Bilal Wajid went to his professor and said you know can you recheck this exam I think I should have gotten a hundred and <coughs> sometimes this ha does happen the professor looks at the entire course and uh, exam and he realizes actually he was given more marks this time he gives them only 50 and lo and behold his marks got re reduced so always going to the professor may sometimes actually backfire and you may end up with lesser marks than you actually had to begin with so this was our uh, you know explanation of structures hope you like this video in the next lecture, we are going to traverse and slowly move towards pointers, which is the other important component of C++. Well, until next time, bye-bye.